this brings us up on to product update. So um, we try to release at least three times a year. Okay. Um, now we actually, as part of the, the development methodology, can release more frequently, but it, it sort of depends what the actual need is. Um, but we're going to go back to May 22 because um, you know that's where we basically released 22R2. And that included uh, a new Microsoft Teams pull queues feature. Um, so this built on uh, customers needing to report and analyze call queue auto attendant type performance. So we launched that capability. We continually worked on that because part of the, um, the new world, shall we say, with cloud UC providers is things do change and we have to obviously provide a, an R&D function that supports that timeline of change. So we, we're running that constant monthly sprint. Um, in September, we re released R4. Um, so this is a uh, Microsoft Teams collection. I think that might be a typo. So I think that, that should have been R3 in May, sorry. Um, so Prism uh, R4, 23rd of September. That included some Teams collection and even a PTL enhancements. And the reason being, again, is, is things had started to change. We actually learned that we maybe wanted to do things in slightly different ways um, because the, the API for Teams was only released in, um, you know, sort of 2020. It then evolved. We learned new techniques and we constantly revisit. And part of that was launching a service called Event Hub, which um, actually uh, listens for the different types of events that are generated by Microsoft Teams, um, but actually is a wider Microsoft Graph API listening um, service. So we, again, as we start to build the product out, we will be building additional functionality into Event Hub. And we also did uh, a background thing called Endpoint Assignment Remodeling, where we needed to, again, re uh, sort of factor some of the ways that the directory and the endpoints and the users were all assigned to each other in Prism, just so that we could support some of the newer cloud services that we were starting to do R&D around. Um, and finally, in December, it wasn't a major release, but we did do hot fixes. So again, we did some Teams queue, the Microsoft changes, we added some functionality to Cube, and also we launched a personal edition of Cube. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, it's a it's the, the tool that we use to pull information about your business from Active Directory or Azure AD. Uh, we pull information from different CSV files, databases, and we consolidate all of that. But it's a true data integration and transformation tool. So we felt that what we wanted to do is, you know, offer it to customers, you know, for personal use for free. So if you do visit cube.network, you can download a copy for Windows. You can install it onto your home machines, and you can actually see whether or not there's you know, certain things you might want to do with it and, and have a play. But interesting, we are developing that and adding new functionality to, uh, you know, the customers are sort of asking, can we extract certain types of information from Microsoft or from Zoom? And we're looking at adding that type of capability to the personal edition um, and, and maybe making it a sort of a, uh, a freemium kind of product. So I just want to talk a little bit about um, a lot of the work that we've had to do over the last couple of years. And most of you will have come from the traditional um, PBX or VoIP platforms, Cisco, the Vias, Mitels, um, Skype for Business. And we had a whole range of, of services, software services that sat behind the scenes acquiring that data moving it around, um, processing it, and effectively then delivering it into your actual PRISM systems. Now, you know, this is the workhorse of PRISM. So this is software that's been built up over the best part of 20, 20 odd years um, with the emergence of different types of delivery mechanisms, moving on from that traditional IP stream um, into SFTP connections for Cisco and others. So, We've actually had to review this um, for two reasons. One is technology moves on, so it underpins how we work with your data. But secondly, the cloud you see providers work in a completely different way. 
So we had to, throughout 2020 onwards, create an entire new data acquisition layer within PRISM. So the way the cloud CDC providers work is that you have Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Ring Central, WebEx, and they use web APIs. And those web APIs push information to you or allow you to go and pull that from them uh, in addition. But they do it in a completely different way. So they don't use SFTP or IP traditionally. Um, they will send these events or they will say, come and collect this information in sort of semi-slow or batch time. So we have had to architect and develop over the last couple of years an entire suite here, which again, you'll see that name event hub there. That acts as a listening service. So it has to sit in as a, a, a lossless, highly resilient environment because some of these services, if you don't receive the event on the third retry, which could be as little as eight hours after the first attempt, that event will be lost forever. And therefore, you will not be able to go and get the full detail about that session or that call um, in the future. Now, we've developed that and listens all the time. We've got hundreds of customers running on that now. Um, and we're really pleased with the fact that, you know, we're not seeing any outages. Um, we monitor it you know, 24 seven. And ultimately that is, a, you know, that's got to be right because if we don't get that bit right, then we, we won't be able to collect your data. Um, but then we've had to do new data collection services. We've had to write new uh, databases and schemas because the data is in a different shape. So it's it's more expensive for teams and, and uh, others for some of these types of sessions. So a lot of what you, you don't see in the Prism app is architected and developed and takes a, a, you know, a long time to actually do. There's a lot of testing and uh, prototyping that goes into it because, again, we have to make sure that we don't get throttled or limited by the, uh, the graph API or the other web APIs provided by the other vendors. And finally, we have to then trans uh, extract, transform, and load all of that data we've collected so that we can present it to you in PRISM. So we just talk here about, obviously, we got to December, um, and now we're looking at what we released in, in February. So we did the 2023 R1 release, and I've mentioned to you, we're committed to you know, resolving any you know, the customer issues that we saw or doing what we call uh, product back uh, backlog items, PBIs. And those are things like feature requests or new, new capabilities. Um, we launched uh, something which is the full detail viewer for Teams, where customers were asking questions about, well, I'm not sure if that's right, or you know, the Microsoft portal says something different. So what we've done is we've exposed the original data that is received from the Graph API so that our engineers and you as customers can actually look at the information and see what's being presented. And I'm going to show you that in a, in a second. We launched our Zoom phone integration, Ring Central, um, and we also did, again, some things that were important to customers, markup tariff, custom numbering plans, new health jobs around alerting for those types of new collection services. And again, being able to pull Zoom and Ring Central information into uh, Prism. So this is a screenshot just of those um, raw data JSON views. So again, I'm gonna go into the product um, in a second and actually show you some of these, these features. But clearly, um, I don't know, some of you that have Teams might not even realize that this particular feature um, is available, but it's a really fantastic capability to be able to actually go in, see the breakdown of the actual service, uh, the session, see who joined it, um, and then be actually uh, able to actually go and see the granular data that sits behind it. So, um, you know, again, we think this is a really uh, excellent feature that will help you understand more about the data that's produced. And finally, before we go into PRISM, um, I mentioned to you again these data ac um, acquisition services. So we've completely rewritten the call extraction service, and you'll see the term there, .NET 6. So a lot of our customers have been asking about um, the end of life for .NET 3, which some of the Tiger services and, and website were built around. 
you know, we are we are completely conscious of that, and we are working to replace everything that's required .NET three. Um, so it all moves to the latest .NET six, and again, future proofs us for another cycle um, for Microsoft and the .NET um, framework. So we are constantly doing that in the background, so that you can rest assured that you know when things become end of support or end of life. You know the tiger are already kind of in advance of, of that, making sure that the software um, is, is where it needs to be. So I'm just going to come out of here. Um, we are going to log in. Okay, so for those of you uh, who aren't on the latest version of Prism, this might be a little bit new to you, um, but the, the general sort of feel of it is, is the same. For those of you on 2020 Pro, and I know there are some of you, this will be very different. Um, and we would love to have a conversation with you about you know, what extra value and, and capability Prism can offer for you. But you can see here that we've now got the um, new integration modules down the bottom. So we've got uh, Ring Central there, we've got Zoom. And clearly, if we go into those, uh, for example, I can go into um, Zoom dashboards, go into cool volumes. We'll just pick this year, and you will be familiar with these. And what you know, Prism is designed to support all your different types of services. Obviously, we've only got some demo data in here, but again, we've replicated those types of services, uh, dashboards, and data presentations that you would expect from your telephony. We've also, with your uh, Microsoft Teams, but for Zoom and Ring Central as well. Okay, so again, if you are thinking about changing provider or maybe integrating to another uh, additional provider, again, let's have a conversation about that because we think that we can, we will be able to support you. Okay, so we're just going to go into um, the analytics screen so that we can show you this um, session information. So within here, we're just going to search for, I know Caroline likes uh, weekly team meetings um, on, the, on a Monday morning. So we're just gonna put in here that we're gonna look for Caroline's meetings for this year. Okay, we're gonna sort that by um, the, the descending order. And you can see here, we've got a session with 11 session items in it. We're gonna click that. And now you can see that we've actually got a breakdown of that actual session that what took place here. Um, and I can see certain details about, you know, modality. So was there audio, data, screen sharing, video, uh, video based screen sharing, etc. So I can see things about the quality. So a lot of this granular information is available, but then the feature around the original JSON file here, so we can now see this is the, the actual transactional data that we get from Microsoft to describe this call. So it talks about who joined the call. There's lots of information about their types of in, uh, devices, types of um, you know, uh, headsets, um, what laptop they were using, what drivers. And this is something that customers are starting to ask us now from a troubleshooting perspective. Um, equally about the quality of the calls, um, the, you know, again, did they use video? So again, we can use this to diagnose and understand what really happened without having to go and look into another database and extract it and try and, and understand it. So again, this is something our engineers said, this would be really useful and we clearly uh, delivered that. So going in then, if we look at things like the Teams media, live demos, always got to enjoy that. So if we go in and look at Teams Media for this month, again, there are certain things that you can add in terms of the actual um, sort of rating, if we go over and, oh, sorry. I forgot this is a different laptop, so I've just done something. <laughs> Let's move me back a page.
So here I can do things like adding ratings, add those in. And again, these are all user ratings, so I can put you know, labels in there. Um, obviously, if the, if the customer has actually put something in, you'll see it. Um, and also we do a rating based on the actual video stream and the uh, call qualities. So lots of information available in here now that wouldn't have been previously available for, say, a traditional telephony uh, system. So I think that's really important to, to know. Again, all of these features are backed up by the fact that we've got the different um, uh, sort of uh, network with those custom kind of dialing plans and things like that. If you're not using Prism around logging things like IP addresses for locations, that's something we can do. There's lots of capability to add context about your organization within Prism. Um, but like I said, we've done an awful lot of work behind the scenes, as well as adding Zoom and Ring Central and some of these other features, which enables us to really move forward with collecting that information um, as you, you progress. So what we're going to do is just going to go back into uh, the presentation. And what I'd like to do now is talk to you about something that's um, part of our strategy in terms of uh, you know, pushing Tiger forwards and offering you additional value. Um, and I'm very pleased to announce that from today, we'd like to um, talk to you about, we've entered into a what's called a co-sell partnership with a partner that we've known for many, many years, um, and that's Oak Innovation. So Oak uh, were formed in uh, 1987. They are a UK-based company headquartered um, down in Poole, which is just down the road from us in Ringwood. Uh, and we've known James and Phil, um, the, uh, two of the original um, owners, for many, many years, and they've been very, very successful in the market. Um, and some may used to have, have referred to us as competitive. Um, there was always friendly competition back in the day. But what they've done is actually move and diversified into more of a call recording um, product set. And we've been discussing now for a, a while the opportunity for us to continue specializing in the areas that we, we are or we have. Um, so we are going to link effectively, you know, to be able to sell each other's products into our customers and partner base. Um, and they launched the Clarify Go for Microsoft Teams product, which actually has achieved certified status, which, is, you know, it's no um, kind of easy task. Um, and they're very, very proud of that. And it enables uh, customers to be able to record all of those items there, whether it's meetings, it's calls, um, sharing, and um, we will be looking at how we might be able to tightly integrate both Prism and Clarify Go over the next sort of you know six to twelve months to see how we can add additional value to you as customers. Um, and we've also secured with them that there will be some trial options available. Um, we we do sort of want you to discuss that potentially with your account manager. But if you are using recording, and it, um, then clearly this is a, a, an option for you to have a discussion with us. And I'm actually very pleased um, to announce that we've got William M, um, who is the CEO for uh, Oak Innovation on the call today. Um, and you know, we, we, have, we are genuinely very excited about how our two businesses can partner as two innovative software uh, organizations, again, both based on the south coast of the, in the UK. Um, and, you know, know each other well. And I think that's what's uh, genuinely quite exciting about it. So I'm, I'm going to ask uh, William to introduce himself and, uh, and take the next couple of slides just to talk to you for, you know, 10 minutes about, or five to 10 minutes about um, Oak Innovation and Clarify Go. So good morning, William. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ben. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, absolutely fine. Brilliant. So uh, yeah, th thanks very much for having me on the call and uh, hello everyone. Um, I'm actually based in Canada, so it's a bit earlier for me than, uh, than the rest of you, I think. Um, but myself and Oak uh, are very excited to, uh, to be working with Tiger um, and you, their partners and customers, to, um, to deliver our Microsoft Certified Compliant Call Recording solution. Um, and uh, I hope that I get to meet uh, meet you or at least online meet some of you uh, over the next few days weeks months um and so yes tiger have kindly given us a, a couple of slides just to highlight some of the features and functionality and 
and and and the benefits of our recording um, product. So uh, I won't take too long, too much of your time, but um, but yeah, thanks for moving on the next slide there. And um, yeah, I mean, when it comes to call recording, some of you may know it very well. Some of you might uh, might be familiar with it, and some some of you might not uh, not even know why people should record their calls. So uh, this slide kind of highlights the four main reasons why uh, why anyone would want to record their calls. And uh, Oak, we work with pretty much any any type of organisation from from banks to healthcare to manufacturing to government to call centres and 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 everyone <laughs> everyone really so uh, so yeah always always feel yourself included and so as the name compliant call recording suggests um, a lot of companies buy our call recording because they need to be compliant with industry standards um, uh, so. You know, to give you an example, finance is is a big one where call recording is is a much required um, feature or, or uh, asset to their infrastructure, uh, as well as companies who need to um, do things like record credit cards, but uh, sorry, record their calls, but uh, maintain the ability not to record credit card details that are taken over the phone. A compliant recording solution like ours is right up their alley. Um, Another big reason for having call recording is for dispute resolution. So uh, call recording can be used to avoid that he said, she said type argument, which can become very costly for organizations when they're trying to sort out who made that million dollar deal and whether it was legitimate or not. So dispute resolution is a big one there. It's basically like an insurance policy for, for phone calls and other communication where you can just really ascertain what was actually said, what was committed to, and having a compliant recording solution like ours, where the calls are encrypted, means that if it does come to it, recordings can be used in a court of law as evidence because they're not tampered, they can't be tampered with, unlike uh, files like WAVE or MP3 files, which, which can't be used as, a, as evidence because they can be tampered with. And then the last two, uh, reasons why or main reasons why people would choose to have call recording uh, like ours um, are sales and customer service. So really, this is an excellent way of keeping tabs on who's saying what on the phone, how they're performing, uh, what are they saying to your customers, uh, what are they saying internally to each other, how are they how are they appearing on the phone. So it's an awesome tool, not just for sales to, again, uh, train people up on how best they can sound on the phone, but it's also excellent for customer service, how they're treating customers, how they're responding to calls, which is a great um, synergy with the Tiger Prism solution. So it really rounds out how people are performing on performing there. And uh, yeah, if we could just move on to the, the last slide there, Ben, thank you very much. So these are just a few kind of high level um, features of our product. Uh, if you get a chance to uh, talk to us at Oak or, or through Tiger, uh, you'll of course get the opportunity to delve much deeper into what's available. But um, one of the things actually that's not on here, which we really do shout about as to why our, our, our call recording product is, uh, is an, awesome, uh, an awesome solution uh, amongst, uh, amongst other solutions, is just how easy the product is to use. So. We, we really do pack a punch when it comes to the features and functionality within the product, but it's useless if it's, if it's tricky to use, especially when a lot, of, a lot of the people who are using the product aren't particularly technical. So that is probably one of the biggest reasons why we win a lot of deals is because people just get on with the product, it works, it does what they need it to, and it has all of that functionality uh, that's required for, for all of those situations. So, as I mentioned, all of, our, all of our recordings are tamper proof. Um, as I mentioned, we've got a, uh, we've got Microsoft certification behind us, which means that we've had, to, <laughs> we've had to go through a lot of rigorous testing, um, not just on the product itself, but also our security standards, how we operate as a business, um, all of that good stuff, which means that you can trust, trust our solution to work as it should. 
um, user defined access control. So you can have as many different types of users who can use the product. Um, you can be very uh, specific about what they can and can't access and what features they can use. Uh, we've got secure file sharing, just making sure that we're uh, compliant with things like GDPR, PCI compliance, HIPAA compliance, if, uh, if you need that for North America, and all the other real compliance requirements, we, we fit all of them into, uh, into our solution. And just uh, at the bottom there, just gives uh, three examples of where we're relevant to different verticals. So I mentioned finance and insurance services is a big one for us, those that need to record calls and, and we fit all the, uh, check all the boxes there that are needed in that highly um, analyzed industry to make sure that call recording is, is uh, up to speed with the requirements of, of, uh, of that vertical that records calls. Retail, travel, tourism. So again, making sure that when uh, people are taking credit cards over the phone, although we can do all the call recording for training and customer service, we can also make sure we don't record uh, the credit card details that are often taken over the phone there. And then finally, healthcare, another big vertical for us. Um, just really important that people can, can ensure that they're recording the calls when required. But again, making sure that we're not recording uh, confidential calls that that shouldn't be recorded um, as and when uh, as and when that's important, and lots of other verticals that I'm sure uh, I'm sure you can think of. Pretty much, we recommend everyone records their calls because you never know what might be said or what might be disputed, and we really do have all sorts of companies that use our product, but. That, that's it from me, really. Uh, I just want to thank you again, uh, Ben and the team there uh, at Tiger, and I really hope we do get to speak to, speak to you on the call, uh, everyone who's joined it, and thanks so much for your time. Uh, William, thank you. And, um, you know, obviously we've, we've spent a lot of time talking um, over the last couple of months and things. So, um, you know, we, we think this is something that, you know, again, as a company that we, we've known for many years, um, you know, we, we're here to provide better value for the customers and we certainly, you know, this isn't just a let's sell each other products. We actually are talking at a much, you know, sort of more deeper level as to what we might be able to do to help, um, you know, drive the value um, by integrating the product in certain ways. Um, and ultimately, you know, we think that this is a great opportunity for customers. Um, because there clearly are recording solutions out there that they might be using. They might be very, very expensive. They might have lots of features that you don't make be take most uh, best advantage of. You know, ultimately, we feel that the, the Clarify Go solution is, is excellent in terms of functionality and compliance. And, you know, we think there's another option for you. So definitely reach out if it's something you'd like to have a conversation with. <clears throat> we you know, we, we think that this is something that will help both companies in terms of its innovation, in terms of obviously, you know, being able to, to sort of grow the businesses um, and and ultimately open, you know, because where we, we had kind of like competed in the past, there were certain partners that we probably wouldn't have worked with each of us. And so it's, it's genuinely, I think, a fantastic step forward. And thank you for taking the time today and, uh, and being able to talk us through that.